a lot of stability in terms of um, when enemies push multiple lanes, mm -hmm. this guy can not only take care of his own lane by de-pushing it, but the global recall Fiend ability, if they get a strong enough lane. Shadow Fiend, they can, they can send him to another lane. If he's strong enough to call that lane, he's still in the fight, yep. potentially, but this pick, maybe Savages, but... Never thought I'd hear that. <laughs> yeah. Not, not in the recent times, so but... Yeah. They have no stuns on EG, but... They, I don't feel like they need stuns with the draft that they have. The amount of lane pressure and just damage, raw damage that they have is off the chart. But yeah. then again, secret lineup is actually pretty good overall now. Like they have good pick off, they have good team fight, they have good late game AOE. They have like pretty much everything. Um, it's gonna come down to the laning phase a lot here because. How much is Brute gonna get? Oh yeah, is mostly the the question. Are they gonna dual lane off lane with Dazzle Brute? They might oh, yeah. do that. They might do that. Oh that, man, that that's disgusting. Be, that heal bomb. It could be something that they should consider because they know it's gonna be a clockwork, and clockwork it will fuck with them a bit on the off lane, bit. regardless of Visage or Dazzle there. But the great thing uh, if you're playing EG is that you have the option to leave the Visage top versus the clockwork. If uh, clockwork gets uh, level six and Visage is level five. That's a, that's a scary moment, because he could kill Visage for free, but then at least he's not ganking mid, regardless. If he kills the Visage, it's not a bad thing. But when Visage hits 6, and Clockwork's level 6, 7, 8, 9, it doesn't matter. Visage can hold the lane on his own. Mm -hmm. There's a good chance he will never die. Uh, if he does, the Clockwork will most likely get uh, counter-killed. Like, you usually have a lot of options in terms of how they want to farm, push, pressure, all of these things. Yeah, the reasons why you could say like Lycan Visage was always so good also at DC was because Lycan farms the lane for until level 4 or something and then he just goes jungle and Visage takes over the lane, gets super fast 6, gets free farm and Lycan farms and doesn't lose any farm from going jungle. So it's, it's going to be really, really scary for Secret mm. because they don't really have heroes that contest the jungle. Ember. I love the, f the friendly banter. These two teams obviously know each other very well. Mm -hmm. Cheeky little mind games at the start a bit. And I just want to, you know, fun little fact, Team Secret, the only team to drop a game one, but still win the series here at the Summit 3. So, you know, just a fun little fact right there as they did just drop game one Hilarious earlier. Hilarious fact. <laughs> That's way too funny, actually. I mean, I'm dying right now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm dying. But it seems like they're going to do Coddle uh, Clockwork off lane and do Shadow Fiend Lion safe lane, which I think is a good choice in terms of laning here. Yeah, the, the, the Visage versus Suso is a bit um, old. Is that okay? Oof. That blast actually went from almost hitting three to hitting nobody. Yeah, it's unfortunate. But it is going to secure they the bounty there. Rooms. Yeah. This matchup, I mean, what EJ have going for them though, I feel, is that this draw can't be can't be like left mid forever. They have to do something. When Suso hits level five, this draw gets forced out of the lane. Oh yeah. There's. Uh, there's a problem with Secret that they have to do moves at some point, but I feel like it's incredibly hard for them. I mean, who do you expect those moves to come from? Not from the Coddle, I'd imagine. And so maybe the Lion needs to come help him out a bit, or...? Yeah, maybe they, they start ganking in mid with the Lion and yeah. leave the SF1v1 bottom. I think that would be the best option from what I can see, because Coddle can't really do any moves. No, certainly not. Early Something blast. that's going to be interesting is the... Um how well the brood is gonna get? How much the brood is gonna get on the off lane? Because I'm not sure Shadow Fiend plan is enough to stop a brood. No howl was used there, but uh, still a lot of damage put up on uh, on Sai. Do they have much to stop this brood? They already have the early sentry down. Not really surprised by that. Kuro's gonna try his best to keep him at bay, but he's easily in the XP range as Zai moves over. Ooh, that's some good cocks. He gets plenty of mana, of course, from your Coddle to keep those cogs coming oh, out, but now Puppy's creeps, very low. Pesky creep. Oh, almost. Oh? Yeah, this EG is, are holding their lane really well. On, we on saw the exact side. same thing last game. This is how it started with uh, Little Zai on the Darkseer. He was stuck at level 1 all the way till 7 minutes. That's how, oh. that's how much they just kept him at bay. Don't see that very often from Zai. So that's the way they chose to go about it, like, secure their safe lane more than securing Brute's levels, which is a good choice. I mean, you could you could argue that Dazzle bottom lane would actually be amazing here, because they could actually smash this lane completely, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you want to keep Clockwork and Coddle level 1 for as long as possible, and that might be better. Brute will eventually get his levels. Yeah, and if Lycan <coughs> gets a good start, that's when, again, he can just go into the jungle and, he opens and leave up the, the message for... Yeah. Uh, to dominate, and then the Dazzle could still be moving bottom. Mm -hmm. 
if how the goes how the Shadowfiend uh, Broodmother matchup works is that Shadowfiend actually doesn't do that well against Broodlings until level seven. He's pretty good at five, but if there's a Dazzle and Shadowfiend is not level seven, that's some good harass still. But if uh, if Dazzle makes the right move at the right time with Broodlings being alive, the Shadowfiend is by no means safe. Oh no. And it could come at a cost of where they make a committed dive onto Universe, then the rotation over from Dazzle and one quick heal, everything gets flipped over. We expected this just like last game. It was very quiet start. We didn't see our first real bloodshed till about five, six minutes in. It's obviously a very tense series for both these teams. Want to make sure that when they make that committed jump for the kill, it doesn't end up mm. turning back on their ass. You can almost be guaranteed that, you know, the EG are not going to make any move until certain things have happened. Like, Zeus needs his six. Mm -hmm. uh, Lycan wants to be in the jungle for a little bit, get his ultimate, and Visage also wants to get his six. But once this has been set up, then the pressure can begin. The Lycan can choose to go on the off lane, gank there with, a, with an ultimate, even gank the uh, draw mid, or start pushing top with uh, Visage Birds. But Secret, like we talked about, they actually have to do a move earlier. When the middle guys start hitting six, uh, or Zeus is even level five, this yeah. is when Secret really have to kind of make something happen because they can't keep this... Like, th this game is getting unstable for them. The way they chose to lane this is not working out for Secret. Like, Cuddle is still level one, and Clockwork actually is level two. You know, he got actually nothing from having Cuddle there. Uh, apart from Cuddle taking a little bit of his XP. They're out of reach now, and... Like, Cuddle has not gotten anything. He could have just started off jungling, and it would have been better. He could have even harassed the Zeus mid, you know. He, there was plenty of things he could have done, and it would have probably been more useful. So... Fight over the four-minute rune here. Yeah. Are they giving up? No fight. No fight. Not much of a fight. We'll pull back and away. Bones Jonas on the couch. He hasn't put his headset on, but if you want to chime in with your one phrase every couple of minutes, you can always do that. I promise that maybe this time they won't harass you about the wards. We'll I can't. I don't <laughs> Buy know though. Some wards and you can sit down, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it's only 75 gold. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll have to look to see if Secret are going to have to do something to help out Arteezy. For now, Arteezy is in reasonable standing at 22 and 8 CS to Zeus's 14. But once the levels come together, that's when the pressure can really mount. But. Oh, that's a level 6 on draw. That definitely helps Secret's safe lane. Mm -hmm. The damage increase on the line and the show. Oh, middle. Okay, Grave coming in from behind. And Owie, Arteezy, doesn't really have much to get away from this. Does wow, get the gust the up on two. Very nicely done with the time to salve up. He avoids the trouble. I really pretty, nice play. I'm pretty sure EG was like, yeah, this is our first blood. We're Gucci, you know. They, they did not see that coming, I think. That was really good play by Arteezy. Nice. And Puppy now so, on bottom. Yeah, Secret are pushing the safe lane. I like this. Like I said, I think they have to make a move. Now Zeus is panicking in a way. Like he's he's looking at this bottom lane. It's it's going down. The supports top are also looking. This is a one way to give Clockwork XP. You see, that's a TP's bottom. Now it's a Visage Lycan top. If Clockwork wants to get some more XP, this is his opportunity. And Secret getting getting some good damage on this tower. Half a tower down. Yeah. They're even trying to keep the creeps closer to the tower as much as possible, blasting them down when they can. They really want to get that tier one. And Aoi, kind of stuck on his own to help zone back to Clockwork, will do what he must to not allow him to get that easy XP, but it will get easier nonetheless for Zai. Level five on SF now. Yeah. This draw is going to have a really hard time making anything happen in this game, except for if he's allowed to hit towers. I think this is what he should be looking at. Him joining fights, like like I talked about, Lycan eats Drow. If you have a Lycan running at you and you're a Drow Ranger, your team has to protect you really well and help you hit, or in your, your, you're just dead. So, Secret, the way they have to play this game, it's, uh, I think it's really hard, but it's definitely doable. I force Clockwork to TB out of top lane. Yeah. Zeus ulti now available. He has an invis room. This is pretty important, and he got his six. What do you think, Bone? Who's uh, who's in a tight spot right here? I don't know, though. The, the picks are so weird. I, I can't say who can... I actually like Secret's lineup more. Whatever happens, they have good initiation, and the other team is just... Yeah, EG are definitely lacking initiation. What's that? It looks like they might have to sacrifice this tier one. Will they yeah. kind of creep in for the deny? Yeah. Well, he's thinking about it. They have the glyph popped. Yeah, the Normally, way, the way this game is going, I feel like it's going to come down to Roshan a lot. The first Roshan fight for Lycan is going to be huge. If he gets that for free, it's it's uh, 
then I, I'd see EG putting ahead. If if she could contest and gets a good fight out of that, it did go the other way easily. Yeah, I actually don't. I think EG winning this is very unlikely. Actually, Brood is losing his lane so hard. There's a keeper of the light. Brood is gonna be kind of useless. They can easily get Russian. How do they fight at Russian? Like EG, I, I can. I think the uh, way that EG have to use their lineup is to pressure all the time. They'll start pushing the top lane to force rotations. Coddle, like we talked about, is good at dealing with these kind of things. But at the same time, if EG set it up right. Going with a Sue Salt, Visage Birds, and um, a Lycan. Like, it's not initiation in that sense, but it's the, it, people running at you. They, birds they're good running at securing at you. the area they're in, kind of thing. Like, yeah. they're, they're fighting is, is not a joke still. Like, they don't have initiation, but they have so much damage, and they have protection from Visage Birds, and. Ooh, <laughs> that was close. Yeah. But yeah, Visage Birds landing, Broodlings running in, blocking people, like Wolf scouting, you know, they have... It's a headache. They have so much stuff to, yeah, it's a headache. You, you, like, so much stuff to, to, to work around uh, in these fights, especially at Roshan. Okay. Careful, um, that's four. And Where's the Zeusulti coming they in? They should have this in advantage <laughs> also, because of Birds and Zeusult. Looks like he's gonna be A-OK. -okay. And Wolf. Wolves, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Artis... He's actually doing better mid than I thought he would, uh, versus the Zeus here. Um, it's not something I'm too familiar with, this Drow and Zeus, but the way I imagine it in my head is uh, Zeus is very good at pushing out certain heroes, he even wins against like Storm Spirit and this kind of thing, once they hit 5. I mean, honestly, I if Artezi plays well, he's not going to get hit by any yeah, spells, I think it's really, because so. Drow has so long range, you know, that, that he will stay out of Chain Lightning range. Now, what's uh, the significance for the Drow and I see some people not even level up Ice Arrows, some just the one investment, because they're more often just going for hitting the towers, not looking to go for the fights altogether. He's putting two points into it. I think he wants to be ready for, uh, for a potential fight. Like, he has a TP on himself. If, uh, if EG do this move of pushing top and the way they have to fight is by running in, then Frost Arrows can do a great amount of work, but... I think it has also something to do with uh, player preference mm -hmm. a lot and game by game kind of thing. If if they were to push all in, then I don't think you would see Atis is getting any points in arrow. Whereas here, oh that's, that's unfortunate. A lot of Poof, the, the centaurs clap. <laughs> Whereas here it's like if Zeus gets hit by one arrow, he can probably just run him down, you know, if he has like two or three points in it, and they have to rotate, they have to TP in with a dazzle to save him or something Scouting like that. Scouting Zeus ult. Yeah. Kyle didn't like that one. He'll just make some farm happen here on the side. He's still pretty broke, but... He, do you wager he's going to be the mech holder for his team, or is this a mech Shadow Fiend kind of a game? I think it's a mech Shadow Fiend, ah, but yeah, so there it looks In general, he's one of the best mech heroes. Very good here. Yeah, they'll need it. Yeah, TC is now starting to pressure top. Secret have to respond somehow, and the Coddle is not ready here. This gives uh, Clockwork some nice XP, though. It's kind of strange they haven't moved like into the jungle at all this game. Uh, I don't know what Visage level is, but... Looks like he's going now. I mean, now. he's going now, and then Visage takes all in. Yeah, I guess oh, that's... Oh, Crow goes into the jungle. Oh, Whoa, he finds my a Nice play! That's... Oh, like an ulti, though. They're gonna they're gonna run him down. If run, Kuro! TP, run. TP. If he would have TP straight away, he would have made oh, it out. Oh, no. Him. Not gonna happen, though. Look how fast that little froggy moves. <laughs> he's, he's gonna hub on in there. The Grey flies okay. up in PPD. Oh, the S4 oh, roast. Oh, my God. S4, like, get the hell out of there! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Coddle gets fast. killed bottom. Oh, that's, that's a really big mistake, I think. <laughs> Maybe Universe is just like, okay, well, clearly S4 is over there. I'm just gonna jump this old man and get my free gold. Just yeah. noticed the Brute has a Midas almost. Um, he's probably gonna have it after this wave. Oh yeah. Lion, Lion dying there though. Like the play was so good, but the even bigger play would have been to TP out straight away after this kill. Like we talked about, they have no way to initiate. They lack stuns. Uh, Lion would have been halfway to his dagger if he just would have TP'd out there. Now he needs a bit more. Well, I wonder if that was a smoke, because regardless, it was a really good play. I think yeah, it was yes. a solo Very smoke. Good play by yeah, Groki there. Yeah. I mean, we have a level 8 lion at 11 minutes with like 40% dagger. It's so good yeah, yeah. for him, I think. Is that Midas for your brood? What kind of a brood game we're going to expect here, gentlemen? The Necro book, the Orchid? I am still a fan of the Dagon. I think it will be a Dagon. Yeah. It's usually what happens when you go for this Midas first, but. Uh, you don't have to go Dagon if you go Midas, of course, but like, Dagon is um, pretty nice. 
think what Secret are waiting for right now is the Clockwork level 6. Oh, Grogi. Oh my god. Getting there's, hit by Spiralings, but that's so a lot. Ooh! <laughs> Wolves on top of that. That was yeah. a lot of hate. This is one way to initiate, you know? This is how you can take a, a fight in a way. If, uh, if they get their stuff in position, they, they run you down because of like movement speed advantage and birds, they don't... They have uh, unobjected movement. But even though Lion has had a good start, apart from maybe that uh, little surround by spiders, uh, I think it's a really hard game to play Lion in. There's stuff, there's too much stuff, you know, there's yeah. like, these bulls yeah. is scouting you out, hitting you, you can't dagger, Zeus ult coming in, Brute, Brute's gonna take on you, and like, Visage Birds, like, it's it's really difficult. I mean, I think you just, just have to play defensive as Lion and yeah. just smoke. You go smoke, and whenever you don't have a smoke, you just play defensive. If you don't die at one, uh, once this game, you're gonna have like a 14, 15 minute dagger for sure. If, if you don't die. And on top of all those critters and creeps, there's a necro book to come soon for your Lycan. Yeah. I imagine he'll be going for the, the Roche at some point, but... Uh, we're probably gonna see them do Roche when Visage has Medallion. I don't know if... how he's doing on that. Yeah, it's but he should be very close. Problem. They might even go for it right away, I guess. Why not? Smoke into Roshan. They have this map control in that Birds, area. Because the warding. It's also kind of like... Might be misplayed by Secret, because they have Rocket and stuff, and the Keeper of the Light and stuff. No, it's... they just used it right there. Yeah. Not gonna have that vision. Yeah, they're, they're not checking it out. They, they should expect this. This is actually the only move VG should do. So... Yeah. And it's... They can't get it for free either. Maybe they feel like they can't contest. They can easily contest. Uh, they have a mech, they don't have a mech, they have a hook, they have a... Uh, uh, yeah, I know. There's the rocket. Boop. They just didn't uh, expect it, so... It might have just been a slight outplay where EG predicts them to go top and they move forward right away. Um, yeah. Or just some... Some timing. This is one way you, for example, can defend your top tower. You uh, you choose to just go like Russian the way the map works. Russian's on the opposite side of the top tower. Yep. And it's definitely worth it for uh, EG to trade this tier one for Russian, 100%. That does also mean though that Secret with a tier one on top down, they can be more comfortable moving into the EG jungle. Maybe this place some aggressive nine, orders, so, but yeah, uh, look how fast they're moving I into tier think, two. Uh, Draw aura. Secret are very fine. Oh, like an ulti being yeah. used. They're going to be coming in from below. Oh, and they're summoning here. Recall, maybe coming in from Puppies. He does go okay. into. This is gonna be interesting. Their light. Yep, he's got Arteezy ready to go, but Jesus Christ, that Lycan walking back and away. Kuro already pretty low. They have no initiation. They don't know what. Oh, Thias Courier. It's all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> Cargo worth. I actually yeah. hate playing this lineup so much. The EG lineup. You have no jump. It's so awful. Actually, I think. But at the same time, what you can you win did for here. sure. But it's so hard to play. Oh, Brute's going book also. Brute's going book. Double so book. Have double book. <laughs> Lots of necro book. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. Is he going necro book on Brute? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, that's... I think that's a big mistake. That's a, that's a big Coddle, mistake for sure. Uh, Shadow Fiend. That they'll be able to farm that down pretty easy. I actually yeah, don't see any point where you would ever go necro on Brute Mother. Like, ever. I think you just get... If you want to push, you get different items. You can even get a Desolator. Yeah, I, I actually don't really know how how Brew works exactly. I've just seen builds that I prefer and it's generally always Might towards the Dagon. and Book on Brood. I don't know, that's, that's a little bit strange. Yeah. I'm also not a fan of Midas Zeus at all. It's like the combination of those two does not make sense, you know. You want to go Mi you go Midas on, on Zeus and then you go for like this early game kind of pressure build on Brood. So. Yeah, it's very unsynced. Yeah, it's, it is. Yeah. I don't think, I mean, EG is just a team that just plays, they don't, I don't think they panic or whatever, they just keep playing, but here is it's, uh, it's something really weird for them, I think, going for the Necrobook on Rude. Mm. Uh, Secret, if they get some more uh, item timings, like if they pick up a, uh, I'm not really sure what you want to build on the Drow, I don't think this is a game where you want to go BKB, because there's only a Zeus that cares about that, and now there's no, not even a Dagon coming up on Broommother, so if you get some more tank uh, on your course, and you, you, you get the opportunity to 4v5 or 5v4 EG, because mm -hmm. they have the Broommother, like... Um, I think Secret could easily start breaking base early game because they, they're actually going to be so tanky and way too hard to walk into. She already has a Helm of the Dominator. Well, I, I'm not sure they, they can just... I, I think because of these, bro these books, I don't think they want to go high ground too early here because they can easily go there and then die to these books. So I feel like they should just continue farming and try to pick people off because Secret can catch them. 
And once they start grouping us five, this is where it's like in ages with book three, Cup becomes really strong. Brute can join in with his book as well, and like... I think though the Coddle makes it all right. When uh, when you see the Brew Mother pushing one lane, you can send the the Shadow Fiend there. We call him back. If you get the five v four in front of their base, when you have these item timings, I think they can get Rexus. But of course they don't have to. Like you say, they have pick off that they, they, that they can use. No, I don't think Secret is in any rush. It shouldn't be any any rush to do anything. The game goes on, they win. Yeah, at this like, rate at least. Yeah, because like Zeus is the best late game hero, but still they still lack initiation, so it's very hard to get those team fights late game. I think it's very weird. Yeah, I, I mean to be honest, I don't, uh, I'm not really a big fan of the last pick Zeus, but I, I see where they were going with it. But the lack of initiation is really hurting them. If they had a Brewmaster or something like that, it would have been a lot easier to play for them. So if you're EG, is there any way you can solve this issue with a Hex on anybody? <laughs> like, Atos on Visage is generally considered a decent catch, but I don't think it works in a game like this. I, I, think, they... I think he might go for it nonetheless. Uh, he's gonna go, he, he's gonna get it at one yeah. point. And last this game, game should last last game he won the uh, Aghanim's Medallion, and then the game was pretty much I, over. I, I think in, instead of this having actually initiation, I think we're gonna see just when they get book 3, they're gonna go force the issue either at mid tower or at Roshan again. And Brute's gonna join up. It's another smoke into uh, Radiant Woods. They see us 4 here. Brute Mother scouting him out. And they. He, mm. he, he, he actually keeps going. Okay, they get to slowly pop his book. Requiem, the timing gonna be there. No. Immediate shallow grave just to be safe. The heal Great bomb fire. though, and see you later, S4. He goes down. Oh, hook shot. into PPD. Okay, okay. Ooh. The funny thing, if he just TP'd when he got attacked to his tower, to the tier 2 there, he would have been just fine, and then he could reinitiate. I don't think he had a TP, though. He did not have a TP. Oh, he didn't have a TP. Except he did not have a TP, so... Oh yeah, that was that's good. Like, Brute okay. scouts him out, and they they instantly have a smoke on one of the supports, I think, and then they just go for it right away because they know he's alone. Brute is there, being a, a spider, sneaky, sneaky spider, sneaky snake. It's like EG just wanted to use the uh, last bit of that Aegis. It did expire right at the conclusion of that, so they get their pick off. Yeah, Artisi lo looks to be going straight butterfly though, which I really like. The, that's a way to negate most of uh, EG's damage. The Zeus will obviously still be a problem, but uh, the Clockwork versus a Zeus with this item build is uh, generally a good counter. And I don't think EG are going to be picking up a 4 Staff unless yeah, I was PCP just gonna, gets one. I was thinking about that. No real 4 Staff candidates on the side of EG to help out for that Clockwork. It seems like he's actually going for the items first. And Zeus is going 4 Staff. Four staff all right. Right. Well, well, it's needed. It. Yeah, it I definitely needed. is needed against Clock. He has it already. And that's a book 3 on Lycan. So they are getting a lot of items. I think next Roche is going to be really crucial. If Secret tries to contest that, that could be a huge fight for EG. If they don't, then it's... I mean, then they're going to be fine with that, but... I think they hope that they contest so that they can use these books and fight around Roche. I still feel like these books are such a risky pickup. If this Coddle gets a correct blinding light, these books are rendered useless for mm. five seconds. It's five seconds duration, oh. right? Uh... Oh! So my oh. pick. Two male, yep, three jumped in, five. locked down, uses that force to try to get away, but only gets off his ultimate before being brought to dust. Oh, good. Look at this. Oh, bye bye, Lion. Commit. Easy kill there on the Kuro, and well, Puppy's gonna go down as well. <laughs> Two for one. <laughs> the wolf. Oh, yeah. TC also getting caught over here. Oh, ow. There's a dropping, no TP. He, he, he could have probably made it out. Can he get PPD? No graves grave. there. Uh, interesting play with his secret coming out. Yeah, it's kind of peculiar they don't have TPs against this lineup. <laughs> oh, PPD! Ah. Oh. Yeah. They only have bird stuns and Zeus W. That's actually all oh, they, they have. They have the TPs. The bird is still on top of it. There's going to be another drop coming. It's like an army! Look at this! Look at this, they're running them down actually, right now. This game is actually so weird. Didn't they watch? <laughs> it's actually unreal. It's like Lord of the Rings! Oh, oh! Okay. Meanwhile, oh, yeah, universe this, this pressure is like on bottom. stuff right here. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> They didn't learn from the game they won against us at DAC, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nah, you have to understand versus a lineup like this, TPs are invaluable. Like, uh, they just move four people to some place, they just TP back to your tower and you, you're still on the lane. You still have presence in the lane, you don't have to go base. Uh, it's so easy. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think we're gonna see a uh, drop setting a Wraith Band for a TP here. At least, uh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, mistakes were made. Dagger now picked up on Lion, though. Oh, 
Medallion on Carly. You don't, see that. On Carly. you don't see that very often unless I guess you feel it's you want the crest, absolutely necessary. Solar crest. I think that if they get the solar crest, and yeah, again, the way fights can happen blinding light, solar crest on the Shadow Fiend, butterfly on, on Drow, they might not have the damage to bring them down quick enough. Mm -hmm. Because the DPS coming out from Secret is uh, like is still potentially super high. It's and definitely good against Lycan early, if you can get it early, because he's not going to go MKB too early. He wants AC and he wants probably BKB, especially against this lineup. So it's going to take a while before they get any MKBs. On top of that, it's good against um, what's it called books. Yeah, it's uh, that that's the main thing. Like I'm looking at for EG, all these minions are unable to get uh, true hit. Necros, birds, uh, broodlings, yeah. and wolves. So that's like a big portion of EG's damage you are actually negating. It's the first time Draw Rangers ever gonna help with the Dominator into Butterfly in Pro Dota 2, but it's for the world's me. first. <laughs> For me, this is, uh, I mean, it's old school. This is what uh, people used to do on Battle.net way a long time ago, but... Mm -hmm. It is what it's SMJ nice... was doing, dude. Huh? Oh, he did that too? Yeah. Okay. Like, back in the day. Back in the day. But it's a really good way to tank up against lineups like these. Like, so much physical damage coming out from EG. Is it going to be a high ground attempt? Mm. That would be weird. Because not their defense is they should yeah. decent. They should switch uh, Shadowfiend to bottom and Coddle to top if they if they plan to do anything like that, but it doesn't look like it. Ah, there's no way. Nah. Looks like maybe he could just head he out right again. now. Okay. Oh, that's oh, cool. He down, so he can, he can send one out. Yeah. And he has a Coddle. You know, no need. No need. He is a taxi service. I, oh, I oh, think if Brood was in Fog and he just jumped in with Necro, he would have died. Right there? Yeah. No, I doubt it. He just uses him and runs away like... So if he hits him once, it's slowed. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't think he does that. I don't think he can do that. He can pop out Requiem and run I mean, away, but... He is walking really far out now. Yeah. Of course, they are rotating to him. They have useful uh, and stuff, like... It's a lot of damage. You'd, I don't know if he dies, but, like, he's very low. For it. No, no, now it's awful. Clock is nearby. They're gonna commit for it. Necrobook out now. It turns back. It's oh, good enough, though. Throws yeah, it up on the Necrobook. Really the... Against the Brood. Yeah, oh, this okay. is so... Like, yeah... Uh, if Secret loses this game, there's no way they're gonna win after this. Like, <laughs> this is so. I don't know. Oh, Drought does deal a lot of damage. He will kill buildings fast if to take a good fight. Yeah. He's got his wolf. Agnum's on visage now. Companion wolf. Yeah, AC being built now on Lycan, adding on top of the minion war and. Um, and general fighting potential of uh, of EG. I wonder where Brute goes from here, though. There's already been an AC pickup. He has a Necro book. Where will you go? I don't know. Just towards BKB. BKB. BKB against that lineup is necessary. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's good. That's definitely good. Not defusal. Get, get, get rid of the ghost scepter. Get rid of dust. Here. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be half bad. <laughs> like. Uh, but I think PKB is a safer and smarter choice. Yeah. Binding Light is also really, really good against uh, Brood. That's yeah, right. that's correct. Well, Secret, they uh, they also have this kind of base defense that EG probably could never break, uh, break high ground like straight up. They have to, something has to happen. You think, but game. watching this game, you don't know what's gonna happen next. You don't honestly. know what's gonna happen next. Somebody is gonna be missing a TP though. That's a big, that's a good, you know, bet. Keeper of the Light is just gonna die randomly before they push and like. <laughs> Smoke up from uh, EG. They're predicting Secret to be top in their woods, I believe, and they're gonna be trying to catch them. The woods are about to respawn in 10 seconds, but. Let's see if Secret make the right choice, right choice and back off. Mm. Well, they oh. might find the Coddle here. <laughs> <laughs> Little puppy. <laughs> yeah, this Coddle kill might mean two towers mid, honestly. Oh, they're going to see this blast and turn right back onto oh, him. Oh, no. now oh. they see him for sure. TP out, TP out, TP out. Gold, man! Oh, my God. Run. Find someone to... No! no. no. Oh, no. my God. It is Jesus fine. Christ, that was so... <laughs> what actually, am I doing? <laughs> it's actually so scary to play this Lion, like Lion specifically against this team because there's like Wolves can scout you out and you don't know. You need a gem at one point. Yeah. Otherwise you can never lurk like he just did. And then there's the Suzalt. And he like, picked up. Yeah. You can't be you can't be this as sneaky as you want to be with the Lion because See, this is so cheating. Like he killed like at least 40 spiderlings twice. That, that, yeah. that, that's cheating. <laughs> they should do a they should do a separate CS count for Broodlings. Fair enough. Uh, Brood has a BKP now. No threats yet though. Okay. Yeah. 
Artizi though, he has been non-stop farming. His, his GPM has been going up, up and up. Uh, yeah, he's keeping up with that I can. Yeah. So what do you think he invests in from here, after already completing the butterfly and holding that helm? Well... Mm. I'm not really sure. I would like more agility, because what happens then is fights get so weird. The amount of DPS that comes out from him and the SF, like, gets so insane. Oh! Hook! Bird block. Croc against Visage. Yeah. You know. Hate it. Is that gonna use, uh, close on Keeper of the Light, or what is happening there? Oh, uh, he went, he he went, went back for the Ghost Scepter. Oh, okay, and okay. He's so going now, far. though. But I'm thinking when he gets Hags and a gem, they can get some sick map control. Yeah. I also think fighting um, Mana League at this point versus a Lycan who did not go Mana League, blinding light, everything is amazing. Man, but, I mean, blinding yeah. light, we already talked about that. Against this amount of minions, oh my, the value of that spell. You probably won't even see the, yeah, the Mana League. I think what is it, like 4 seconds, 10 seconds cooldown or something? something this is insane. Yeah, yeah, level 3, it's... I think it's... Really sure. 6? Can we have... Can we, okay, no, it's not, no, 6 seconds? Uh, maybe with the cooldown reduction of Chakra, though. Uh, we need to uh, we need to see Highlight the blinding light. Other one? Yeah. 12 seconds cooldown. 12 seconds. So Wait, the Chakra is actually six. insane. It's actually insane. A lot yeah. of uptime. Secret are doing a nice job of keeping this top pushed in and dodging EG at the right moments. Uh, but the whole gem uh, uh, coddle daytime thing is oh, not gonna be a going low. Okay, Oh go. my god, the amount of nukes. Fine, they'll step back okay. and heal, but EG want this tower. And they'll get it, looks like, but little Arteezy in the They're base. Setting up top with the Zeus, but... Yeah, Dro can't push against Zeus. All right, all right. So no one can really push if everyone is alive. So. Maybe he goes back for the satanic, actually. Uh, draw. Yeah. I feel like he needs some mobility. Yeah. Item. Mobility, uh, though. I, I, like I, I thought about the blink dagger. Yeah, but yeah, I think, oh, it's I so think blink weird to would play be good, but but then again, it's so easily cancelled. He went big. Yeah, the Zeus is just such a hero in this dagger game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he went BKB, so they can stand, they can hold their ground and uh, and fight nicely, I believe. If they use the cogs correct and blinding light correct, and this this draw gets to yeah, hit. No, they can jump them and kill them in their base if they have position, for sure. Secret. Yeah. So. Well, Aghanim's getting closer and caught. I think this hero turns into a carry once he gets that Aghanim's. Like. I mean, yeah, he's he's actually so important this hero in this in these games. Like, yeah. I think Secret and EG are like Keeper of the Light. It's whoever gets it wins probably if they play well. He could be no use. As much as Cuddle is good here, I I don't think this is the. Oof. Game where the gem uh, coddle is gonna be that significant because they have so much stuff to scout anyway. So even if they lose map control, they still have broodlings, they still have wolves, they still yeah, have. Zuzo. Yeah, but the biggest thing is the wolves. The wolves just gives you vision without knowing. Because like broods, you, broodlings, you kind of know when they see. Oh, no, gem is gem is gonna know. be good for sure. But yeah. some games you can't do anything when you lose map control. But this is not one of them. Oh, oh. Okay, let's see. Is it dying? Okay. PPD goes yep. down here. Yeah, nice play by Crow. Off. Oh good. man. Zeus trying to keep him at so bay. Far. Oh wow, Fear just beat. chops apart him, gets another. And is EG looking to break into the base now. This is how EG have to fight, they're just running people down. S4 taking so much damage. Spy back by the clockwork. These buildings are going down for Unbelievable. secret. Arteezy finally shows up, he needs to help out. But there's the army. This is a Rex, like, they can't do anything to stop this. It's the swarm moving in. Yeah, the thing with these jumps is like you actually need your team. You, you gotta kill. It doesn't matter. You have to still jump on with the rest of the team. So there is a half HP and they can go on you. Because if you just stay AFK, they're gonna go back on you with everything. And they got Sumail though. Zai is next. This oh, they're gonna kill Fear here. Kill Fear. Yeah. Yeah. No more Aegis and no BKB for him. So he just goes down. Yeah. But this trade. Trade is very good for, for um, EG for sure. Yeah. I wonder if they got a bit of oversellers there. Because um, I felt like they could have taken the Rex without any any casualties. Oh, Artisi steps outside the base. Mm, okay, yeah, a little, like, little too far from home there, little one. Oh, but Curl's going to be there to help out. Brood 5k gold. This Brood is actually going to be a problem. He's actually so farmed now. He's top net worth. Yeah. That's actually insane. The thing was, is even though Secret lost a lot inside their base, they got a lot of gold. From that and the fear takedown, Carl was able to finish out his Agnums. And if you look at Shadowfin, he had like 4k gold. But someone bought back, I think Clock bought back. It's so his yeah. progression is non existent in this game. He's actually mm -hmm. done. This is such a hard game to be Clockwork in, I think. Yeah. You, have, you have summons, which is so bad to play against, and you have Shadow Priest, which means whenever you jump a guy, you have to go back. 
Because you're not going to kill him. He's going back for the ATOS on Mr. Chosso. I like yeah, it. He has it already. All right. And you see it. You see the way they're fighting. They're not using lockdown. They're just using the map and their movement speed. They just run you over. And you, if you keep running back, buildings are in front of them. They just go for that, those instead. Oh, S4 in an awkward position. But he has some backup. Pretty Still close. no TP on SF. <laughs> I think mm. he's going back to sell his bottle for a TP though. Yeah. There we go. Still with 2k to spare here. Travels. Travels is like around uh, Brood. That's interesting. Yeah, now he's setting camp in the top lane. Guess he feels like there's uh, no point for him to stay bottom anymore. Uh, I kind of agree. For I can stay wherever he wants. He has travels. Yeah, but the webs, uh, having them in a... Uh, in the Radiant Woods allow, allows them to stay and farm there, but not having webs and staying there is gonna be very awkward. Yeah, it's pretty good for Secret. They I might mean, have a chance at... The, I mean. the, the next Roche is also just gonna be free. <laughs> this is a really hard spot for Secret. It's so hard for them to contest this Roche right now. Yeah, you got very, very hard. Last 10 minutes. Sumayel, Bloodstone, Four Staff, Travels, and now it looks like he's going back for the Aghanims. Or maybe or Octarine. For the Octarine. Octarine yeah. core yeah. would be cool. I like the Octarine. I think a lot. Octarine is better. I yeah, think I think so, so too. too. It's nice with your Force and your Boots of Travel as well. <laughs> this is the cooldown. Your Chain Lightning might be so short cooldown that you can't even use it. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's. Well, use his Thunder God. Scouting Susalt, this is uh, one of the reasons why this hero yeah. late game becomes so It's like a so smoke crazy. detector too. Smoke detector, like when you have, again, pressure heroes, now Brewmother feels so good pushing in top. Like, Oh yeah. Uh, they know that Secret will, t will have to take some time to ever move there and the chances of them doing that are already slim. Because you see Artisia showing bottom. Secret could be playing cocky and uh, go four man top and recall him in, but then if EG reads that, they just pick off the draw. EG though, their contempt just chilling. Guess they're just waiting for the Roshan, finishing their items. Butterfly though picked up on SF. These evasion items, they're in, in, invaluable in this game. Summons can't get through hit, so. Yeah. Yeah, but you saw how it was last fight, bottom lane. They kind of get to half HP before they can get any hit off. Just from the just magic from, damage from yeah, Zeus and Just from uh, Broodlings and Visage and, Visage and like Zeus. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, this is amazing. Like, uh, what can happen though, or what I think needs to happen, is that this SF has to probably get a satanic, or I don't know, but he has yeah. to be able to run he in. Stands. He just has to stand there, yeah. and then Secret have to play around that. If uh, they start showing up with their Zeus or their Visage, they have to jump them right there. I, I don't know going. if satanic is good, honestly. I think he should have had a dagger, like early. Dagger BKB, because you want multiple jumps at the same time. So Shadow Priest cannot save, but and somebody, whenever he saves, he's somebody gonna... has to deal with these summons eating your buildings. Uh, yeah, just uh, blinding light. That's all. That's all you need. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe. I'm not sure how that will play out. I, I think the buildings will still be going down after the blinding light wears out. The call nuke is not going to be enough. Blink dagger rude. I mean, yeah. it's three seconds downtime if you if you chakra. It's true, and he gets his solar crest now. This is really good. You put on one of these butterfly targets, it's just not gonna get hit anymore. But okay. this is a good timing for e for Secret here. They have standing on draw. Does he have Aegis or something? Roche maybe after. No Aegis. Oh, they see okay, okay. fear. Oh, and the nice PPD on the, the back. PPD. Yeah, that's very nice. We see ya. We're gonna get you, buddy. They okay. go right yeah, out in front. Right. Grave will delay, but this. PPD Dazzle could be going down, but a nice little temporary stun comes out from Alley, but there's a the blast. Like in the buyback, is the question because this is a, this is Roshan. Yep. Yeah. They're gonna like fight the buyback. Buy buy yeah. This is uh, maybe even Rex. Yeah. 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 This could even be Rex's. The the amount of right kick damage like we talked about, it's so insane. They picked up the Satanic on TC. I really do like it. Susa almost killing Sai. Oh no! Please don't! Please don't! Please don't! Oh! Please don't. Bacharinos, though. Oh, 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 hey, hey. Roshan is a hater. I'm out of here. <laughs> it's not a friend of the Swede. <laughs> so now in Aegis for Secret. Big peaking point for them. That was so unfair. Like, there's no way. Uh, I, I rarely see him feed like that, actually. <laughs> I don't know what happened there.
I like the Ghost Scepter pick up now on Clockwork too. I think what he should still maybe opt to go for is an item versus Zeus. Whether it's Blade Mail, whether it's something else, I think this is the guy he has to look at the most. That's the Zeus. Yeah. He, he can't look at the Lycan. I mean, he kind of does with the Ghost Scepter, but he, he needs something to, to deal with the Zeus, I feel like. Like to help versus him at least. Mm -hmm. like now the the game is actually really fragile for EG. It does not take like it takes the, the smallest of uh, hip ups for for EG. One liking gets picked off again. It's actually game right there. They take the whole base. Yeah. You can see for quite a while was EG holding a good plateau about at twelve this K gold on their lead, TZ. This means no no way no way they can straight up push anymore like they did before. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't notice win, but they do have their gem on the coddle now. They just need a random pick off that just happens in this game apparently, and then they have a chance to get Rexes. <laughs> Again, uh -oh. oh, EG. Oh. oh, they're building up their little army here, and they're moving. Oh, they saw that though. They saw that with their ward on the high ground, so... They know he TP'd on a smoke bird yeah, or, or, or a wolf. Or a wolf, yeah. Looks like Secret are busy with mid lane here. Yeah. The tank, are they going to come all the way and come in from behind? Oh, are Secret going to do this now? They're pushing yeah, on top of their TZ. They, they don't have time really to push. Move. Oh, they also saw the DD top, but they're not going for it. Oh, we're bringing our TZ. This is actually going to be a really hard fight for EG, I think. Oh, they're going to oh, clash. They're, gonna they're going to clash. And it's nice a jump in from Zion 2. Oh, Sumail's able to make it out, but my goodness. They're going to bring him down. BBD able to barely scale the way if they decide to let him go. But SF is caught alone above us. Oh, oh, SF is going down, but Universe, nice TP in. Oh, the cheese. Oh, yeah, the cheese, yeah, the cheese. A blow, and build the sides up on the side, gets a full blast off, and the blinding light. Does not heal, though, because Nighttime. Oh, Artiz, he's just cleaning up all these minions now, with his amount of right-click damage, and he feels so good with his Aegis and Satanic. Another, just another casual Eagle song, because why not? No, that's good. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Why not? Yeah, this is actually... Yeah. Might be game this, right here. This might be game. Look at the amount of damage they have. They have the buybacks. They gotta Susan use Broomother. them. Oh okay. no! Oh! Pushed that the wrong way. Didn't activate Ghost Scepter either. Oops. Oh, unfortunate for Zai. He will go down. <laughs> so you gotta get the hell back. <laughs> Uh, oh, Cuddle, Cuddle is in trouble. Oh, yeah, the gem. That's a wolf TP right there, but... Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah. Ouch! Gem down. Gem down, yeah. Is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. But uh, this, this is as far as it goes. It's still out of ages. Yeah, there's no way EG can push. They can't do anything from this. All no, Secret they can't, but the game is up. stabilized a bit more for them now because Aegis is going to run out. Yeah. The buybacks is, 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 is hurtful, but they are actually fine, I think, now. They're now they can wait for the next so roster. It's actually, still really difficult for Secret to run out on a map if they play safe. No, I, I actually disagree. It's going uh, to be day now. Soon, when, with, with the Caudal respawn. I mean, I, I think, think EG has to win in the next, like, two minutes, because those buybacks... I mean. Yeah, I think those buybacks are actually way too hurtful. They no, I, I think you're underestimating Lycan. Lycan, even with these items, can actually crush both SF and uh, Drow. No, he, not against he, can, he can't do anything to Drow anymore. No, he can. He, he's not just on guy. top of him. And, uh, I mean, it depends on how the fight he goes. He might even have double butterfly, he's like 48%. It's either double butterfly or, or like the Valor goes on him. Lycan's not gonna touch him. Yeah, it's, it's actually gonna be like 60% well, evasion with on top of 45 him, he's, armor. He's very sad, he has 350 move speed. He's sad, but he just hits him in the face. Lycan has to run from him. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Lycan has to run away from him, then he gets his aura back. The Zeus and Visage have Oof. to deal with this guy now. I actually, I would really like to see a double butterfly. I mean, that's, like, that's probably what it's the name be. of the game here. Well, they did get a Solar Crest. Yeah. yeah. It helps a little. Oh, it helps a lot. I mean... Yeah. Helps, helps. That just suddenly seems very poor now, I think. He only has, like, basically oh, one veil. item. But Bloodstone. The rest... Okay, he got a yeah. Veil. That's pretty good. That's fine. Yeah, that just means he's playing so much around their BKBs. Oh, Artis are gonna find some... Oh, if this guy dies... <laughs> Don't he be ready? He is like... Oh, this, this, if he dies, the game he's is like over, over, isn't it? Oh... They, they need to win this fight, EG, right now, otherwise... Oh, you know, Fear also gonna get nice caught out. No, no BKB use. man, no BKB. Yeah, he's gonna get graved up. And we'll get the time for a BKB and a TP Ooh. out, but no. Okay. Never mind. I think... Okay. Brood Speed will just stop, so maybe Hulk that's a chance. Oh, Secret. Just going one by one at this point. Like that forces out the... Uh, yeah, buyback from Fear. PPD making... Nope, not happening. Kuro Kuro's gonna catch him. Base top. He's done. Yeah. Someone has to take care of that, probably Shadow Fiend. I think Drogo can push a shot if he should defend. Uh, is taking care of it. Okay. 
And he's there to slow down Universe, but it's Secret moving in mid lane. Uh, Universe has nothing to offer to the fight anymore. He used Necrobook top. I think they have a rack stop as well, right? Yeah. Ados used an RTC, but like. I want you. I want to see now what happens. Like, look at this lichen. Yeah, yeah, oh, he just hits him. him like that. Oh, no, be kidding. You can't touch him. He's untouchable. Well, because Clock is there. He's enchantress. Still a satanic to use too. <laughs> you need to hit him 50 times to kill him, and then he pops a tan again. Like, yeah, can't do anything about it. Oh, I was just back up. That looked funny. Now oh, he's gonna go down. All right, this is some damage here. The veil plus, you know. First down the line, Arteezy though, confident, standing strong, able to easily right-click. Universe shows up, which means that EG are in a real bad place, but it looks like they'll be able to bring down little Arteezy here, but look at the damage. Minus Ruxes, though. Shadow Fiend. Yeah. Oof. Wow. Well, that, that like and dying mid for that Roshan was actually so huge in this game. It, yeah, that was, that was massive. It turned everything around. So unexpected as well, I don't... Yeah. yeah. So Travels now picked up on Coddle, like, when he upgrades these Travels, like, this game becomes very funny. Uh, in general, like, they have stabilized the game so much with their hero picks, like, split push is never gonna be a thing for EG. It's not gonna be a way out of this game, thing is, ever. I, I don't think this game is over at all. I think the, if, if, if EG can secure next Roche and get MKB on Lycan, they already have one on Brood, then this game is still open. Ah. Uh, it, 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 it takes, uh, it takes it's very, very hard. It's It's very... It's first still very fragile fights. It comes down to who initiates first and who is out of position and stuff like this. I don't think they have daggers on like a brothers. No, they have a dagger on brothers. Okay, so in. he can do something. Oh, the mi the requiem just for the minus damage doesn't connect on the lichen though. No, he's able to That's step. That's very back. weird actually. Big stun. Fear waiting out before his BKB. Now we'll pop it. Tier three does go down, and he's like, I'm just going for the racks. But the hook in oh, from Zai nice to slow him down. Can they get him down? Universe still good to from, from light. The Agonim oh, Coddle, man. look at that. Does he have a lot of Brute now? No, he probably does not. Some no, cooldown, no maybe? gold, probably cooldown. Oh, he doesn't have gold either. Yeah, Nikon's also dead for 90 seconds. This is uh, this throne. They're not even gonna yeah, bother with game, one Yeah, that's game right here. Yeah, I was wondering, the, in the end, that Necro and Broodmother was so useless, actually. Maybe they would have just had the chance I, to take pressure or something. I, I don't think you can say that. I, I think if you was out of position mid lane. If he was not there, if they just waited for Roshan as five, yeah, yeah. took the Roshan, this game could have been, was just over, I think. They could not deal with the push. I, I don't know if it's over, because I think the lineup is so much better, but this is definitely important. This is really, this is the biggest thing. Uh, that was a really nicely, nicely played, like, kind of calm game from Secret, even though this amount of... Uh, I think they, like, tilted a bit in the... They did, like, 15, 20, five minutes, they're tilted so much, actually. After this point, they still did it calm. They got their yeah, TPs yeah. up, and, like, they stopped getting picked off stupidly. Um, EG trying to hold on to Two the base butterflies. here. Two butterflies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he went for the double butterfly. It's very rare. It's good. It's good here. Yeah. They only have physical, except for Zeus. Yep. Uh, it's very rare that you can argue for the second butterfly because the nature of the game is that people will pick up MKBs and you lose so much value of your items. But minions, yeah, don't care. Minions always don't suffer. pick up MKB, yeah. Well, thrown exposed. They're just playing with their food, though. Okay, for us to do the play. I think EG right now, ever, ever since that death up top, they were just the talking about game. the next game. Yeah. Um, Humao, TVA, free again. Doesn't like the ending of this game, I guess, but... Uh, well, he can... Falling asleep. Get the hell out of here, I guess. <laughs> I <laughs> go to know. sleep, I think. 